So this is a special speech from Imperial Master. We would like to introduce you Lee Dog Wu, Imperial Master. Hello. My name is Lee Lee Dog Wu, Imperial Master. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all of you for joining. Especially I would like to congratulate Iona and Songino masters. I mean, despite going through the chemotherapy, uh, they've been promoted and they joined us. I would really like to congratulate them. And I would like to encourage all of you uh, fighting. So today, what I am about to speak about is not really about the system or anything like that. I just want to talk about my life and what I would like to start out with with my failure first. I was afraid. I was really afraid as if I was walking on a very dark beach. My past was like, my past was very dark and gloomy. I was afraid and I was fearful. How much longer do I have to live this way? The thing that bothered me the most, the thing that gave me the toughest time was I had no hope. I had no direction. I really didn't have anybody around me. People who were around me started just pointing fingers at me. They said, stop, stop, stop. The continuous failure, continual failure ruined my life. Even my family started pointing fingers at me. All of a sudden, I was a father who could not fend, who could not support his own family. I thought, ah, should I just, should I just give up everything? Should I just give up? Call it quits. I still shudder when I think about the day I thought about that. I was, I felt utterly alone and I was utterly alone at that time. No matter how much I tried, I couldn't see the end. I couldn't see the end. I felt like I felt like I just kept on sinking, sinking, sinking deep down to the ocean. And that just looked like me. And I know that there are probably a several different extents, but I'm pretty sure that all of you right now who are watching probably feel to a different extent, similar way. Probably all the adults and all the breadwinners and households in Korea probably are going through this right now. Now, this day and, day and age that we live in, it's not, we can't just survive just by working hard. If you want to succeed, we have to change the conventional way of our thinking and, and conventional way of our thoughts and conventional way of living. Just like how I overcame my obstacles and failures in my life through Atomy, yes, you will have to change your conventional ways of thinking and approach. I, I've been learning swimming for about three years. Now, even now, I can barely swim. I can barely, barely swim. 
Once I get, you know, I get halfway, and I get halfway the pool, and but once I get tired, I just sink. Now, should I get a better coach, like an Olympic caliber coach? Well, it doesn't matter how good coach of how good of a coach you have. If you give up in the middle, you're not going to be able to continue. Now, everybody, do you think my life will change just because time passes? Well, not really. I am actually afraid of water. So, you know, I even, that's why I couldn't really learn swimming even after I learned for three years. So just recently, I registered for a, another swimming lesson recently. I, and I took it for a month. And my coach said, uh, you, sir, um, unfortunately, you, um, your body just does not float in the, in the water, so please, um, please just move over to the next line, and then uh, maybe, hopefully, over after a year, maybe you will know how to float first. You will learn how to float first. But I did not give up. During the interview, uh, the interviewer asked me, and they asked me what my bucket list was and if there was anything that you couldn't do. And I told them, you know what, yeah, I've always wanted to try skin scrooper diving, but I couldn't try it. And they asked me why. And I, I told them and explained to them, well, the people in the Australia, they invited me. Um, to do, but they told me that um, they actually, there are white sharks in Australia, and I just gave up the thought of skin scrubber at the drop of a hat because I was scared. Um, yes. And the thing is, uh, they were very persistent on me coming here. So uh, what I decided to do was I went to Jeju Island in order to learn skin scrubber diving. And the first day was really tough because the equipment was really tough. And I, you know, I'm scared of water. So I was, I was just very, very, very scared. And, when I first got in the water, and when I went down about 10 to 20 meters below, my entire body started shuddering, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't stay. But the thing is, I felt too ashamed to say, oh, you know what, I can't do it, I'm, I want to get out. I, I, felt too, I felt too ashamed, so I just endured. And I was really afraid. I was really fearful. Now, the interesting thing is, like I tried to make, I tried it twice, I tried it three times. I realized that as long as I have an oxygen mask, I realized that as long as I have an oxygen mask and the dry suit, I can actually stay in the water for about 20, 30 minutes. I can overcome the coldness and I can overcome being in the water for about 20, 30 minutes. So I realized Wow, the swimming is just like anatomy. So for the past 17 years, I worked in five different companies, but I all failed. And I tried skin scrubber, and just within three months, I, 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 you know, I actually navigated the water for the first time. So I would like to show you a clip of my uh, skin scrubber diving. And the company asked me, oh, is that really you? And yes, it surely is. So please tune in. <laughs> it seems like we are having a slight difficulty. Why is it not working? Can anybody figure this out? Oh.
아, 이 사람이 누군지 so, 아시겠나요? Can you tell who that person is? <웃음> 진짜 물 속에 그 고기가 저렇게 많은지 몰랐어요. Yeah, 거기에 산호, so 그 해상, 가리비 그런 걸다 봤어요. I mean, I kind of 아, 제가 또 카메라도 한번 잡아봤습니다. <웃음> I even tried holding the camera as well. 아, 사실 그 바다 속에서 fact, 이렇게 들어가면 굉장히 그 무서워요. 두렵기도 하고. Being in the water, 아, 저런 광경을 볼 때마다 ocean, 들어오길 잘했다고 scary, 스스로 경고를 아, 합니다. I mean, it reminds me. I tell myself, you know what? I did myself a good job. It is so beautiful. Now, the, the water flow in the deep bottom is really strong. 저 지하 동굴에 들어갈 때는 진짜 망설였어요. 이거 들어가 When I enter that the underwater cave, I, I was really scared. I, I was hesitant. Should I, should I enter? I was really hesitant. 나오는 모습입니다. So I actually went in and I and exited. Now when the COVID-19 is over. I plan to I plan to visit every skin skin scuba site. Of course, in order to overcome that, I'll have to be well off financially, and I'll I'll have to be available time wise as well. But the most important thing is, I have to have a I have to believe that I can do it, and I have to have the will to do it. However. Um, in, in order to overcome that, uh, you need some equipment, like you need suits, you need oxygen masks. In early 1991, I actually received a letter that uh, a company is opening up in the States and my sister said, you know what, invest your life into this company. And I really trusted her, so I went all in. Now, nine years passed, no progress happened. Well, to start with, the product was too expensive and it just wasn't a very, it just wasn't a very sellable item. And it, the, the system was not uh, very suitable for me. The next company that I met was uh, uh, Company H. And because I had a prior experience, I actually uh, went in as a uh, um, higher master because I had a previous experience. Now, what happened then was government actually declared that um, students, soldiers, and uh, certain people, they cannot partake in these type of work. So there, the restrictions came. So in the beginning, it, was, it seemed promising, however, after three years, it collapsed. So all the and and that's what was happening. And we had all the things that in my house. And as you know, my my sister and we had all the things that we need. And I was introduced the the binary marketing which is the 
double-line marketing in Korean. And also, I was introduced to that system, binary marketing, binary line marketing, which is the double-line marketing. It took me one year, and I thought it was going to work. And I went to the, his company, and I started and the fee that you enter the company and also to maintain the, the performance. And the entering fee was $200 and also the maintaining fee was about $400 in total, $600 every single month. And I moved to other companies as well because of the financial situation. And for a long time, about 17 years, I didn't be successful. And Yi Taeyong, star, star master, and I borrowed his money about $5,000, and he couldn't graduate because I borrowed my son's money, my son's savings. And also, I, I made him to sell his car and I borrowed more, more money to maintain my performance at the time. And I, I feel very sorry for that situation, for that circumstance. And, and my son, my son had what was, it was very difficult for him to admit that he couldn't graduate and he had, uh, he had to pull out a lot of loans and student loan and also from different types of banks. And I had to stop the, my business about the network marketing business and the product has to be great. And there's something that I realized and I told myself I will never do a single activity in network marketing industry. And my daughter told me that go to work and what you have to do is that you can work at a small restaurant in the parking lot. And they were hiring employees. And, and I talked to Park Dong Chol, the managing director in Atomy, and we we were talking about my career, new jobs, new opportunities, and he told me to bring my resume. And in 17 years, the only thing that I did was network marketing. So I start to write my resume from 2009 and all these years and numbers. And I got the job. And, and I was working very hard at that company. And in three months, and Park Tong Chol, managing director, and I opened the door, I went inside his office, and we were supposed to have a meeting, and I saw Atomy Cosmetic sets, the absolute sets, and I told him I will not do it. And, and I took the cosmetic sets, which is the absolute sets, and my, my family started to use that, and my family started to order more because we fell in love with the quality and unlimited step and unlimited accumulation of point value also upper limits and the point value and the entire sales if you think about Atomy's entire sales Atomy provides 5% to all the consumers and Atomians this is a great business model and it means that chairman Park hang thinks about Atomians. And Atomy cares about people who do Atomy business. And I was 
on my way home that day and I thought about the network marketing business. So I went to the first seminar in Atomy and I wasn't sure because as you know if you have great products and the price is going to be extremely high and the price is not good enough then price cannot be reasonable and they can increase any time the second day of their lecture and he explained the eight steps to be successful eight core steps to be successful and I start to fall in love with the products and I went to Chairman Park Han Gil went up to talk to him and Chairman Park Han Gil explained to me about his experience in network marketing in Australia and he his credit score was not great and I felt very touched because this company will be bigger and bigger and it doesn't matter how much success we achieve and I saw his thoughts and vision and I start to believe him more and more and when I go to Seoul today I will quit my job and I came to Seoul and I start to do atomy and the sponsor the PC room owner introduced me and when I saw the PC room and the basement level it was it was very big at the time and I explained the business every single month I was paying two thousand dollars about two thousand dollars and I told my friends acquaintances the real business has came which was that to me and people were asking me my website and I told them we don't have the website and people didn't believe the company that didn't even have a website of course and people were pointing fingers at me and they didn't even register and then and the building owner told me that in my opinion you have to leave because this business is not going to work and I invest all the money and please wait until I make it and he kicked me out so I was evicted so then when I was evicted at that time I told everyone that we had open so then I didn't have an option and choice and we went to the Sadang Center and I start to meet more people and Kim Kwang Ryeol and you saw him on the video and he didn't have a very proper job and through Kim Kwang Ryeol we met Kim Sung Shim and and people in Seoul they didn't care about the atomy business because we didn't have the website and the people that I met didn't even know about the website idea of website and we only had two products and the 
product quality and the price was absolute. And Kim Chun Hwa, Crown Master, O Chin Hwa, the le leader, and Yi Hong Hwa, Loyal Master, and all these leaders, Hong Hae Young, Chu Chin Sun, and everyone became a Loyal Master. And in Jeju Island, and, and I want to talk about the Kim Byung Pil as well. And I found some people on my left line, but I couldn't find anyone on my right line. And I went to Jeju Island to find more partners. And I went to Jeju Island for one night and two days. And I met Kim Ji Hyun, Lee In Sun, Kim Jong Suk, leaders, and Yoon Sim, loyal master. And in Jeju Island, people were. People didn't even know what the website was and how it looked like. And within one year, I was making $10,000 a month, every single month. And I felt great, but at the same time, I wasn't sure because I had a lot of failures in my past along the way. And I was making more than $5,000 and more, and the first person who came to me was that people who I borrow money from, and in 10, 11 months, I was paying back a lot of money. And Chu Chin Hwa, Shin Hen Hwa, Om Song Hwa, Loyal Master, and all these leaders, Kwon Yong Sik, Yi Hae Jung, Imperial Master, became my partners, and I was making $20,000 to $30,000 a month. And I was doing very great. And Chairman Park Han Gil had told me that I should go to America to open a branch. And I was preparing to be a loyal master, to be promoted, and he wanted to go to America together and he wanted me to lecture and because Atomy headquarters doesn't have enough money and we had to pay for our own. So I will go there after the promotion and after the 15th. As you know, every two weeks it, the sales number updated on the system. And, and people who that I met, the people who were visiting Korea, they, they were very happy to see Korea, experience Korea, and not just for business. And, and finally, I had a chance to go to America and experience, for example, LA, the first seminar. There was, there were a lot of people, and I went up to the stage and and I said this. And after that, people were cheering my name and chanting my name as well. And after the seminar, we open Atomy USA and in 2018 I became the second Imperial Master. And what do you think about when you think about Yi Dogu? I failed the five situations and five times in a row. And my sixth time was Atomy. I chose Atomy, which is a tool to be successful. A lot of people ask me how I became successful in a short time period. And I told them, and you have to execute the plan. And all the network marketing companies have the eight core steps to be successful. Think about your why. The reason why the absolute quality products, if you sell those products with and 
with absolute price, then everyone will fall in love with the product. And that's what's happening, and what, that's what has been happening for over 10 years. And I, for me, I saw the vision, company vision. And what kind of products do we sell? The daily necessity products. And if we provide better than any other company in the world, then we provide better service. And we're helping the consumers. We're actually saving them money. So if you think about those good things, good things of Atomy business, then you will be successful. And Chairman Park kang always tells us that being honest is something that he values. And for me, I didn't believe that when, even 10 years ago, even when we didn't have a banner, warehouse, or a website. And Park Chong-kyu, the vice president of Atomy, and we didn't have anything. We didn't have any proper tables, anything. And if someone comes to the new seminar, and we couldn't buy anything, we couldn't provide any lunch or proper lunch to all the listeners. And and when I heard that, I'm, I feel very emotional. And, and it doesn't matter how difficult it is, or any, I face any difficult situation or a circumstance, I do not complain. I just keep going. And that's how I became successful and when people come to me for for an answer or people interview me and when was a di most difficult time in my career and I told them I don't have one and I didn't have one and they asked me again and I think about the times any times that I wanted to quit but <laughs> I didn't have any. And if you want to go far, then you have to pull all nighter. And that's what I did. And at 6 a.m., I have. If you want to go to Jeju Island, I had to leave at 5 a.m. To go on a flight and go to Jeju Island to meet more people, and that's what I did. Often, and I arrive at 9 a.m. and there is no one. And I go to a restaurant, I eat, and I explain the business to restaurant owners and the door-to-door -door sales, as you know. And and also, for me, I was always tired. As you know, I couldn't sleep a lot. I pull an all-nighter often. In fact, and I didn't have any proper clothes. And one thing I wanted to do is to buy more clothes when I become successful. I didn't have any money for a long time. So I had about $3 and I called a cab and he dropped me up at the, at the hotel. And I walked to this certain spot and the meeting place over the bridge and I walk for a long time and also my partner called me what's your address and 
The father told me to quit and stop at me business. And if you look at the sponsor, then the, the sponsor is not making any money. And he's wearing the same tie. And I didn't even know that. The reason why he wanted to get the get my address was that he wanted to send me the all the materials that he he had, and I experienced every single thing and every single detail. And I never thought about quitting or stopping at me business. Last year. The Chairman Park Han Gil, 10 years later, and he had mentioned that he asked us, What kind of products do we have to come up with? Do we have to launch? And I told them, and with absolute quality and absolute price. And without any entrance fee and maintenance fee and we will and we will become number three network marketing company in three years and five years will be number two and ten years later we will be number one in the world and there's something that I believe and and this is going to be truth and this is going to happen and I want to say this again why do you want to be successful the reason why you want to be successful you have to be successful if you think about Atomy business it's all about absolute products and I went to, as you know, I went to Korean Coma factory in Sejong area for many times. And at that time, I was belonging to the other network marketing company. And Atomy, the price is absolute. And Sun Cream is the same thing. It's actually $40 in the market, but we are selling for less than seven dollars and I asked uh, Kim Chi Bong the CEO about the quality and it's the same exactly the same and as you know the Fair Trade Commission and you saw the all the statistics and a lot of the manufacturers have less margin and they try to take more margin but that to me is different and, and this year we, we had great news about the export top and we have the and Atomy has been doing very very great and having the GSGS marketing strategy under our overseas and marketing team the Yi Hun who managing director had mentioned before and also Kazakhstan and Brazil will be opened and the overseas sales will, will be more and more and I have the 50 million point in, on my left line and 50 million point on my right line and I travel the world and I have a lot of hobbies and I tried many things and all these countries that I mentioned I already been there and also other regions as well and all these places that I'm mentioning, I already went there as well. And I remember every single place. And I was very happy. I have all the pictures from those places.
and to contribute to today's society. And I'm living that every single day. And one more thing, and one more quest and mission is that I have to do more donation and do more charity. And I need to do that. I need to focus on that more. And before a t m e I didn't have a proper job. After a t m e it has changed me. And today, I want to say to all the people, the 19 different overseas branches, you can be successful. And through a t m e business, you will be successful. And loyal master, crown master, imperial master, it will happen. We have to work and we just have to execute the plan. And thank you. And also, I want to say thank you to my lovely wife. And she was working very hard at the time when I was not making any money. I want to say, I want to thank her from the bottom of my heart. And also, to my lovely kids, I want to say thank you, and I love you. And Atomy is a great, could be, if not the, one of the best opportunities in your life. And your, I hope that... As I had mentioned before, if you believe it, Bravo, my love! Please give him a big, big round of applause. Thank you. And as he had mentioned before, that it was very motivational, very touched, and please give him a big, big round of applause, Lee Tagu Imperial Master. Bravo, my life! Like, share, and subscribe.